Good morning, YouTube peeps. Eddie Smith here, Country Road Entertainment. Bet you're wondering how I got myself into this situation. Hmm, me too. No, it's really easy. You just go online and put a credit card somewhere. We have rented a boat on the Lake of the Ozarks here in Missouri. So we are minutes outside of Osage Beach. We've been on the water for about an hour. And um, just my luck, it's raining. As you can see behind me, we are uh, taking on a wee bit of water. But uh, <laughs> we're in good spirits. I feel like we should still be wearing something on our faces even though we have cloud cover. I'm feeling a tad burnt already. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So I got uh, my friend Jamie here with me who wishes to remain off camera and her two uh, children, uh, Riley and Jesse are with. And we are just kind of cruising along. The idea is to go fishing. I'm pretty sure Jesse just wants to jump off the damn boat. I do. You know, we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm inviting you to come along with. Oh, yeah. All right, hang on, guys. Hang on. folks checking in so we got a break in the weather dry it up a little bit still wet from the waist down don't think that's a good thing but nonetheless um i've got nothing but jamie's daughter riley putting a photo right here got herself a nice i'd say three pound smallmouth bass i'd say it's not too shabby um otherwise it's looking like i might be skunked and at the same time tired so a uh, lot's been going on lately. Um, in this video, I'm going to update you on a few things that's been going on while I've been here in Missouri. Uh, a lot of things I've learned uh, since now living on the road full time and as an RVer, even though I'm pretty much staying in the same place at the moment. But some neat tricks I've learned uh, for the road, some ways to save money as well. Um, and during this video, I'm going to share with you that stuff. folks so today's gonna be a fun day so I may have allegedly done a thing I don't want to ruin the surprise but I'm gonna take you off for a drive got about an hour to about an hour and ten minute drive but this is a big deal it's gonna make huge changes for my life on the road so once again I'm asking you to come join me. This is gonna be fun, really excited. You know, all these years I've been filming, doesn't matter what platform, I swear I have this like YouTuber's curse or something. So I get all the way here, and I'm almost to the destination, folks. And I go to fire up my GoPro, and I forgot to put the SD card back in. Now, mind you, I don't have just one, I have tons of memory cards but I didn't put the one back in because I evidently it's still in the computer when I was editing some of my last footage in b-roll and I know for a fact on the counter in the kitchen is a brand new 64 gig one which would have come in very handy so maybe one day the curse will run out who knows uh, so uh, we'll just do this the old-fashioned way shall we
think I did a thing. I think I did a thing. I did a thing. Okay, hang on here, hang on. It gets better. Uh, data sale? Yeah. Uh, today, or if you want to go buy the date on there, whatever's easier for you. I don't care. Uh, I don't the care. The tag has it on for today. Okay. Because that's when I printed the tag. Well, so you're good for 30 days with the temp tag oh, licenses. With Missouri, yeah. Okay, so that might be a good day. Like, okay. Let's do it today then. So, 7.18. And you got me a full take of diesel, right, for all the hell I've been through? Look at the gauge. I took it on a test drive yesterday just to make sure everything was good. <laughs> well, I got you just under half. Um, I've got about $400 in extra accessories back in the back seat. Oh, good. So you got brand new mats that have never been used. Wow. Carpet, you know, the rug ones. Mm -hmm. um, the aftermarket rubber ones are what I've had in there. And then um, you got tie downs. Those are $250 alone. I've never used them. They're still in the original box with the keys. Yep, so as you can see, <laughs> I did a thing. I'm bummed out about the GoPro, um, uh, it's no big deal, but that was the quickest transaction in the world. But the process leading up to this, maybe I'll tell you, tell you later, maybe I won't, but uh, you know, thanks to them, I mean, there was some miscommunication up here. Uh, then we had some issues with getting the bank in line. You know, this came from Burke Holder Truck Sales and what they call Burst Sales, Missouri. And uh, I am now the owner of a 2016 F-250. Uh, it'll be a lot easier with the rig. Uh, I, I know y'all are thinking, in, what did he get, diesel or fuel? I did go diesel. Um, thank God the price started dropping, but I just wanted that power. And I know that this puppy will last me a long time. All right, so uh, time to get back to the ranch and uh, we'll catch up then. Hey folks, all right, now we're back at the mm -hmm. RV. Uh, I know I said that I was going to go over some of the things I've been learning while I've been on the road. Uh, some of the things I want to go over in terms of like the changes I'm making that should be beneficial for me in the meantime until I decide if I'm going to continue doing this or um, if I'm going to buy or settle down. But I, I, I still feel as if that I want to wait until there's some change with the market, you know. So, but uh, but before we close out this video, I want to get this wrapped up, get it uploaded, um, already getting started, or not started, but planning on the uh, next one. Um, so we'll be hitting the road again next weekend. But uh, in the meantime, I um, want to share with you all this. This is a, a, what they call a cheer wine. It's um, actually from Salisbury, North Carolina. It was founded in 1917. It was named because of its cheery looking disposition and its burgundy color. So, you know, they kind of gave it that name. Uh, the reason why I want to bring this up is I was watching Adam from The Daily Woo, who's a, uh, a vlogger I like to follow. And he was doing this North Carolina uh, uh, series, I guess you could call it. And he went. And I just thought it was really interesting. And I'm not really much into sugary sodas. I'm more of a sugar-free kind of guy. But I figured, since I found it, and actually what was interesting, I found it at a um, candy store. I took a friend to. I, <laughs> I'm just there to use the restroom. She gets all this candy. I don't know. But I figured I'd look at the sodas. And this was outside of Springfield, Missouri, next to what is considered the world's largest gift store. Now, we didn't go in there, but we did go into the candy store, and I found this. So, and I don't usually do reaction videos, but I thought, what the hell? Let's see if, uh, let's see if it's good, so. Oh, wow. That's really good. Okay, definitely good. That is probably the best cherry soda I've ever had. So, and this is not endorsed at all, but whew, that's good. So if you get your hands on it, try it. Uh, I'm not aware of how many states they distribute it to. I didn't know that it actually left North Carolina, but maybe a few states. I haven't seen it anywhere else here in Missouri, uh, but it's here and it's tasty. So check it out. In the meantime, uh, we'll go ahead, we'll see you next time. And if you're new here, this video right here is one that YouTube says you're really gonna like. This video right here is our last one, all right? So if you haven't seen it yet, go back and catch up, and we'll see you next time. All right, so long.